to my channel if you are new here welcome yeah. my name is guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome if you are coming back <laughs> if you are new here what's up my name is julia like comment and subscribe comment i am new here i'm watching your video for the first time so i know that it's not my friends are coming down with my videos i don't know oh. i'm not wasting my time Today we're going to be doing something I've not done in a long time. We're going to be doing my hair. Yeah. I don't know who's going to watch this video, who's going to enjoy it, but I hope you like it. And if you like it, like it. If you don't like it, still like it. Okay, let's let's start. So this is what we are beginning with. As you can see, I haven't done anything. I'm still in my night wear because like, why will I bath? Come back to this. No, let me let me show you. Whoa! Oh my God! So now you have seen my beautiful hair that I'm affecting. Don't worry, you get here one day. Let me just show you the things we need, the things I need, things I use for my hair when I do it like every month. So it has been five weeks, but it's really like. Two weeks, sometimes two weeks, four weeks. I stopped doing it every two weeks because I don't have time. I mean, I'm not doing anything, but I just don't want to do my hair. So let me just show you what I use. The materials. First, you need a spray bottle to spray the water. Like it depends because I'm not going to wash my hair before I use it because I washed it like last week. Yes, I washed it in this break. It's not dirty. It's it's not dirty. Yes. It's not it. So you need a bottle with water, and I can be able to spray. It, it has to be wet, you know. If your hair is natural, you know. Next thing you need is a comb. This comb. But I'm not going to use this comb this, with this part because this is like the first part, and then there's a the second part. But I'm not using this comb with the first part. This is the brush I'm using. The hair is there, it's disgusting. I don't care. This is the brush I'm using mean, the first part. This it has like this little dot 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 dot. They used to call this bristle. It has this little bristle stuff. So you need this kind of brush. If you don't have it, I suggest you get it, but not now because obvious reasons. But get it like for natural hair, like this is good. You won't have breakage. This is the best thing you do in your life. It's not even that expensive. Like one five. I know you're spending one five on that every day. So the next thing you need is like this is what I use. Like I mean, so I decided to change my life. Sometimes I stopped using all those living deep moisture, blue blue blah blah blah. All those all those all those skinny shots. It's not really helping your hair. And when I changed to this stuff, I started seeing results. Like results. So I'm just telling you guys, like seriously. Throw away all those stuff because it causes build up in your hair. And build up is not good. You have to wash it like I I I, I can't go like four weeks without washing my hair. Five weeks and I'm alright. So this is what I'm saying. This is what I use. India him hire me I can do some you know, influencing like I'm already influencing I can can extra influence so it's grease it doesn't matter if you use India hem or anything just use grease like this kind of like a pomade I'm not sure also I have this one I have like three of these I have India hem, I have a coconut oil one. It's just you can see the the you know the the, the similarities in them. It's just kind of like pomade texture. This is basically what you want. It's grease, they call it grease. It's good. It's good for the moisture to seal in all the moisture in the strands your hair leaving it looking luscious like mine and then the other thing you need which is like glass thing in my routine i'm telling you it's like short not too much things is this one i made it myself because i make stuff 
it's basically a mixture of like these butters. Let me just tell you what is in here. Coconut oil, shea butter. I can't remember, but it's coconut oil and shea butter. Ori, you need it. It's good. This is what gives the moisture and this is what seals in the moisture. No, but like the water is the first moisture. This is the second moisture and this is the final moisture. Now let me take you through a walk in the park of the process I use in making my hair. You want to fill the bottle with water. My bottle is already filled with water and now depending on how dry and how much your hair is you may need more than this amount of water on your hair. I use like two, maybe one sometimes, I'm not sure. It varies according to various factors. So right now my hair is like not dry at all. So I'm just going to spray this on my hair. So this is my process, the Julia process. I call it Julia process. I'm really like. And this is my process. If anybody uses the process, don't give credit. I can sue them. So let me just show you guys what I do. So it depends on how you do your hair shop. But me usually, because of school, I do like all back or back there or just more kind of random stupid hairstyles they have given us. So what I do is I lose like. The first two, okay. I lose, I take it two at the time because it's much better for me like that. If I lose like the first two first, so let me lose it and show you guys what I do after that. Okay, so the first two has been taken down, guys. Look at this. <laughs> Basically, what I do now is I, I just gently you take your time to do like this so that all the shed hair, like hair, shed 100 times a day from I can't remember where I saw it. I think it's a five. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. So, how many, like, count how many days you had your hair in this position and multiply it by 100. So, that's how much hair should be. How many strands of hair should come out? This is how many strands. Ah! How much is it? This hair may pack out with the hand strands. Just spray some of this on your hair until like dripping. I should get this one. Until dripping wet. Back the door so like I don't mess myself up. So, yes. My hair is probably dirty, but I'm, I don't have the strength to wash it. Just spray your hair. It's pretty wet, but it's shaking when I shake my head, so that's a good sign. Now, the next thing we're going to do is apply our mixture. If you guys want to see how I made this mixture, Comment so I can make it and show you guys how I made it. I can't really remember what I put in here, but it's like a bunch of stuff. I shall remember I have shea butter in here. Chebe, chebe. There's this powder called chebe powder, and basically what it does is it strengthens the strand of your hair to like stop breakage and stuff. And I put it there. I can't remember how I how much I bought it, but it's not that expensive. So, we're going to put a good amount of this on our hair. Okay, so about now, it is like fully covered with the cream. And it's time because now it's soft if you do, if you do it right. Because this, there's no way you can mess this up if you do it right. It's soft and it's like moist. So it's time to use this brush 
this is the brush you are using don't use this type of brush to detangle don't you are going to destroy your hair use this kind of brush because the kini is small and it's going to easily slide through the hair and like detangle it once you finish detangling this one then you can use this one but don't use one to detangle okay now i usually start detangling from the bottom some people use conditioner to detangle use a conditioner and using this and it's working fine so detangle from the bottom and then walk your way to the top so once your hair is tangled the next thing you do which is like the last step not the last step sure, but like the second last step is add your grease i'm using who's that indian hem Apparently, India hem helps to grow the hair and it smells nice. So, yes, just apply it to the hair. That's like all. But the last step, which is like really important, is braiding it. So, I'm dividing it into two. So, I break this side and I break this side. So, basically, this is the part that helps to stop shrinkage. If you like your shrinkage, that's fine. Then I don't know. I don't know what to do if you start to like I like my shrinkage now. If you want to have like a nice afro, you have your shrinkage there. But if you want it to be out, especially if you're making your hair like again like this, for me it's better to have it out. So you just braid it and once once you braid it it becomes dry there and straight out. So when you take it out that is it simple Choose the simple life. Don't be wasting your time. Just do this. It can take you like one hour. You're done with everything. I'm going to go off camera, finish this whole thing, and then come back. Okay, so I'm done. Okay, this is how it looks. So, my advice is to like, pack it out of your face because you can get it. Can you see that book there? You can get it because of like, the oil and stuff. So, just pack it out of your face. I'm basically just going to use this because I don't want oil everywhere. And that is the end of the video. I'm sure I'm Okay, I forgot to show you. This is how much hair came out. But this is the end of the video. Oh, boy. Not. But I have like this or other videos I'm planning on releasing like this week, so you guys should get ready for it. Bye.